Grace and peace to you. This is yours truly, Bishop Bowser, coming at you once again. I just want to share with you briefly about two things. You know, the first thing is, is that, to, well, I can't say tonight. We are still in the evening, but, or in the nighttime, but on, by the time you see this video, it'll be Saturday. But on Friday, July um, 19th, 2024, uh, we had a gun violence prevention focus group at our office. It was a closed focus group so we hand selected and or picked the individuals that we wanted to be a part of this focus group but these individuals that were involved are the ones that run around with the guns are the ones that may be involved in the violence and, and, and gangs or associated with gangs and so on and so we had a focus group tonight the focus on gun violence prevention um the the, the clips of the movie we were watching and having a discussion on it was boys in the hood but tonight, we didn't take any pictures because it was a closed group and um, these individuals, you know, they are, a lot of them are involved. So we didn't want to, you know, expose them. But I just want to share with you that, you know, we had a, a powerful discussion. It was a powerful night tonight uh, as far as um, the gun violence prevention focus group that we've had. Uh, most of the individuals uh, were very engaged, all of them. When they left, they left wanting to continue to have uh, this conversation. We were able to engage them. They were able to open up and have conversation with us. And we was also able to have CBT, which is cognitive behavioral therapy with them, to get them to start to think. If we can change your thinking, we can change how you feel, change how you act, and get a different outcome. And so we are going to continue to have this, and we will open it up to the public to more because the group tonight really thought it was powerful. And they did say that they want to continue to have uh, these discussions and have um, these group meetings because it had a powerful impact on the young man that I brought and took home. Uh, he's 16 years old, and he he said that you know he he came in feeling one way and left feeling different. I said, "What do you mean by that?" He said, "Well, you know," I said, "Do you mean it in a negative or positive?" He said, "In a positive way." He said, "I'm really, you know, my mind and, and my my feelings. I'm really thinking." I feel good, and, and my mindset is thinking right and clear, right? Because one of the things we try to get them to understand is that, you know, you, when you when you go out and get involved, you have to look at what the cost, what the outcome is going to be. Of course, we always look at the payoff. I'm going to party. I'm going to have a good time. I'm going to get high. I'm going to do my thing. But we never look at the cost, right? The cost is is that you get caught up in something, you can get killed, right? You can you can end up hurting somebody, right? You can end up going to jail for other illegal activities. And so we want people to do be um, res uh, responsible, right? We want them to be responsible, have responsible behaviors and, and a clear way from illegal behavior, right? But legal behavior. So it was a great thing tonight. So I just want to report that, that it was an um, awesome and a great gun violence prevention focus group tonight. We had some young ladies and some young men uh, between uh, the age of 16 and then into the 20s and the 30s. No pun intended with 20s and 30s. But um, also I wanted to discuss with you very quickly is that uh, I was looking at and, and I saw that Blockstar, the young man who um, uh, killed Popstar. I mean not Popstar, Pop Smoke. Pop Smoke, right? Um, this young man, I did a video on him as far as about not feeling sorry for him, not feeling sorry about what he's done. And he's doubling down and digging in. And, you know, my thing is, is that, like, he's got to have some homeboys. He's got to have some OGs. He's got to have someone around him who can reel him in, right? And keep him from crashing out and keep him from uh, making these mistakes as a young man. And so uh, uh, groups like the organization that we have, I know they have a lot of them down in L.A., and I know some of the guys down there, and I know they do a great work down there. But you know, every individual, you know, you you know, just like here in San Diego, uh, they have to want to talk, they have to want to sit down, they have to want to listen. But someone, please reach out to that young man and reel him in, right? Reel him in, cause he's doing more harm to himself than anyone else, right? And and um, uh, he probably still coping and dealing with his trauma, and and listening to people like um, Terrence Gangster Williams. And so on and they you know and they they want to be gangsters themselves they want to be killers and and they want to like uh, like uh, Terrence Gangster Williams don't want to show no remorse no regret no repentance and at the end of the day unless you repent you're dying your sins and that's the bottom line people forget that there is a heaven and a hell and there's a God that will reckon with you and you will have to face that and so repent 
because the kingdom of heaven is at hand and God is soon to come and we got to get it right. All right. So um, uh, I just want to say in regards to Blockstar, um, he needs to be real then. Uh, I tell you that the group that we have and the organization that we have, uh, we can't lose with the stuff we use. And we've had so much impact. God has blessed us. They have so much impact in people's lives and in and, and, and helping individuals to change their mind about the life that they're living. That's what it's all about. It's about change. It's about healing. So this, um, uh, this uh, during the summer, we have in our, our seasons of peace. We started July 4th and go through September the 2nd, which is about 10 weeks. And the season of peace, we just ask an individual to fall back. Not to participate in any type of, of gun violence, um, uh, whether whatever group you're part of, whatever whether it's a group, whether it's individual, whether it's domestic, whether it's community gun violence, fall back, fall back, and let's give each other a pass and peace, right? And so it's been somewhat peaceful. So we, we're most thankful, more, more, um, um, we're, more, we're grateful for that. I should be saying we're, we're most thankful and grateful for that. And really appreciate that and let's keep it going let's keep it rolling and so on and we will be having more of these group meetings because uh it really had an impact on the individuals we learned a lot and they learned a lot we was able to share we was able to do our cbt cognitive behavioral therapy and individuals left with a different mindset and that's what we want to see and that's the change that we want to see and these are the individuals that are out there and that is engaged and that is involved and so we're we're very thankful for that we got a lot more work to do and we ask all of you to join up and so you know hit me down in the comments if you want to join up with us and get involved and volunteer and work with us to, with these young people to help them change their lives all right because we need all the help we can get all right god bless you